We are Debbie, both of us. So if you just remember one name, you've at least got two volunteers. Um, Debbie is a new volunteer with Chloe's Fund and with the shelter. She started out at the yard sale? At the yard yep. sale, yes. And this woman came in working like a dog and we're like, oh, we got to get her. <laughs> Everybody get her name. But I already knew her through my parents and through living here in Florence for a while. And her, her husband also, Chip, he also came and volunteered in the hot, hot summer out in the parking lot cleaning out a building and he worked really, really hard. Of course he had to rest for a couple of days after that. But, <laughs> but we love getting new volunteers and they're so fun because they think it's so fun. It is. <laughs> and it's a great we, program. It's it's just really makes you feel good to do something nice for the animals that we don't even know really. And I know a lot of specifics about the animals just from being around a little more. But Volunteers that give us up, lift us up as oldies up, it's really a nice thing. It makes you smile when you see them come in. <laughs> so we desperately, desperately need volunteers for this shelter. Um, just sweeping and mopping, which is what I was doing just a little bit ago, making things, you know, getting it all cleaned up, just makes everybody feel better. The workers have no time to do any of that. So it kind of goes undone unless we do it. Uh my name is Lisa Rim, and I am the president of Chloe's Fund. We work uh, with the animals at the shelter. We do a lot of fundraising. I'm also a foster mom. I foster dogs from the shelter as they go into the rescue. Uh, I also help with cleaning in the shelter. We have days where we clean and do laundry and walk dogs. I help write the grants. I do a lot of the paperwork for Chloe's Fund. I organize the bake sales. Uh, I do a lot of the paperwork and computer work for the, for the uh, charity as well. The shelter is always looking for volunteers along with Chloe's Fund. For Chloe's Fund, we, we love to have volunteers to help with our events, to help with our fundraising, to just help us on social media. With the shelter, they are in a constant need of people here on a daily basis to work with the animals, to, to just give the animals some attention, to clean, to do laundry, to do dishes. Uh, you can walk in here, I don't care what age you are, and there's something in here that you can do to help, even if it's only for an hour or if it's for a day. It's very, very much appreciated. Uh, my name is Donna, and the reason that I volunteer is because our shelter here is awesome. All the workers are awesome, they work hard. I got started with the shelter because of this dog. This is my dog, Buddy. This was Buddy when he was brought into the shelter, in terrible shape and he, they took a chance on him and saved his life. This was him at the shelter, he was very sad. And this is him now, he lives a great life. That, and he is how I got involved here. I didn't know everything, I didn't know the help they needed, I didn't know you could come and sweep, mop, do laundry, um, walk dogs, I help um, with the transports, they need people to take them back and forth to the vet. Just anything, if you have 30 minutes or an hour, any day, if you have all day, um, we love volunteers and it's great, it's awesome, it's rewarding. And I'm one of those people that I thought, I can't do this. I, I came here to help one Christmas and Debbie was like, oh, you wanna help feed the dogs? And I thought, oh, I can't do that. But I could, I did, and I'm here as much as I can be and I love it. Six, 16 and up, um, if you come with your parents, uh, that, that we can find some things for you to do as well. And it's a great opportunity to take your children, to teach them about the importance of volunteering, and also to give the animals some social interaction. It just makes them more adoptable. The more they are around people, the more they, the better they are, the better they show in their kennels when adopters come. And um, it's just a good, a good way to teach your children about the importance of giving uh, of themselves to an important cause. Hi, my name is Linda. I volunteer for Chloe's Fund that helps with the sick, injured, emergency bills at the Florence Lauderdale Animal Shelter. And the reason I volunteer is because there is never enough money to pay for all of the abused and neglected animals in the Shoals area. Uh, fundraising I love. 
for me, it's the most enjoyable thing I do. Uh, and every little amount of money that I make at all of our fundraisers, such as bake sales, we also have a Santa Paws Christmas market. We have had in the past yard sales, and we have had a few other odds and ends uh, events that help make money. And that is why I do it, because the need is so great. Your first name? My name is Rory. I volunteer because I just want to do something other than, I don't like being lazy like I used to and I just wanted to get out of my house and start helping where I can and just help the animals as much as I can. And what do you do? I, I mostly do laundry but I also help with like I'll give the dogs treats, I'll um, help like pass out the litter boxes, I Sometimes I'll do dishes if I have to, but that's a little <laughs> difficult in, the yes. wheelchair, in my wheelchair. Yeah. What do you so, want to know? Just that you just say your name and why you like to volunteer and what you're doing to help. What you like to do to help. Okay. Um, you want me to just go ahead? I'm Lisa Romer and I volunteer up here a lot of times at the desk, but I have clean cat cages and whatever they need me to do. And it's always very rewarding knowing you're to volunteer to call Donna Tate on Facebook, well I say message, or Debbie Nelson with DBBY on Facebook and we'll text you back or message you back and we can give you some ideas of things you could do and when you could come and maybe one of us could meet you so it wouldn't feel like you were here all the time. Yeah. We have fun, we do have fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's we very do. worth it. And like Donna just ran to Sam's for the shelter to buy dog food because they need a dog food. That's, you know, a volunteer can do that. You just, okay, I'll go get it, that kind of thing. The office, you mentioned the office visits to the vets, they have to get the health certificates and take to load them up and take them to the vet, wait on the health certificate, bring them back. Sometimes a kitten might have a runny nose and needs to go to the vet, come back. Mm -hmm. So, simple and besides cleaning, which is my favorite thing to do yeah. myself, <laughs> me too. <laughs> and uh, cleaning and washing puppies—that's yeah. my favorite. Taking yeah. pictures of the dogs. Yes. yes, and I don't want to do the cat room, but I will if I have to. <laughs> that's my least favorite. But a lot of people, some of my volunteers, love doing the cat room. So see, there's something for everybody, right? It is. Please come and help us, y'all. This—it's a sad situation here with just very few people trying to take care of. 150 to 200 animals and they need our help if you're an animal lover come help us right yes <laughs> yes the staff is great the animals are great so come on down and we're pretty great too yeah. the volunteers yeah we'll be so nice to you if you come right yes okay and i just wanted them to see the whole shelter today we went to yep. the back yep. we didn't go in large dog but yeah. we got to see they got to see the scary dogs who like <laughs> at you and they will. It wasn't so bad. It's, you know, they bark like that in the kennel and you get them out and they're fine. And they're like, yeah. It's just a different dog. <laughs> That's what people don't understand too. Caesar Wallen taught yeah. me that walk. I was yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. This or, or this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank y'all so much for Dogs with the home, original right? twerkers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. One of the girls who works here, she's got this um, um, bully, me, what, what, what I want to say, bulldog. And her name's Violet and I call her Vi. And when she walks, she wiggles from the end of her nose to the end of her tail. Seriously, her whole little body. Love tail. Uh -huh. hilarious. And they use she's yeah. pit bull and they use her to temperament test other dogs yes. because she's she's like a rock. Yep. If they jump her, she's gonna take up for herself, but she's not ugly to anybody. And you just don't think about a pit bull being the temperament testing oh, dog. Yeah, and they are so sweet. Yeah, mine I have one. She's a, a mix, but she's been, since Gwen died, she's been, she's a mess. Like, you know, she has to get scalded occasionally. 
for Miss being a speaker, but she's such a good dog and she's smart and she knows that I need affection and she's just all, you know. Yeah. My other ones are not, they like to be petted and then, okay, that's enough of that mom. But she's like all about it. And that's, they're just, they really love their people. Thank you.